morning, my people. Today is a beautiful day. And what's even more beautiful about it is I'm wearing 100% my own creations from the shoes on my feet to my leggings, my knitted top, and my felted purse. <laughs> you may not know this, but part of my goal is to make 100% of my wardrobe. I'm about, I'm about 70% there. I've even made, are you listening? This is kind of, this is wild. I've even made a felted bra. It's a little bit lost in the house right now. I need to find it so I can show it to you guys on a mannequin, of course. Don't get too excited out there. But um, that's all part of my master plan to be totally self-sufficient and sustainable. So um, I learned some really cool things about felted shoes uh, that you need to know. Um, little uh, things as I um, gave these a road test. And so sit back, relax, and get ready to hear my secrets on felted athletic shoes. I learned. Oh yeah, <laughs> I thought I had my shoe up there. Okay, so, the shoes. Okay, I have a confession first. First, here's my confession. I am constantly working on things, um, making new things and whatnot, and I get very excited about what I make. So, frequently, I walk around with stuff while it's in the process of being made. And I found out that that's actually very helpful information that you can gather when, when you're walking around shoes, in shoes that are partially made. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, so here's my shoes. So anyways, I finished the right shoe before the left shoe. And the right shoe was pretty much fully stitched and the left shoe was not like so what are you talking about stitch christy i know okay so when you make felted shoes i think i'm gonna have to show you a felted shoe before it's stitched okay hold on a second okay so here's a felted slipper my old slipper that I sometimes bring out here uh, to run experiments on. I have another one. I completely cut into it, so <laughs> I don't have it to show you today. But, okay, so this is a basic felt slipper, right? It's one solid piece. Okay, this one has a hole in it, but um, it's one solid piece. I actually had a uh, shoemaker, traditional shoemaker, contact me asking me about felt shoes, and... Here's the thing, felt shoes are not sewn together. Felt shoes are sculpted in one solid piece that you're, that molds to your foot. That's what makes them awesome. They are crazy comfortable because the inside part of the shoe literally molds the, to the footbed of your particular foot in a way that leather could never do, okay? Because you've seen how moldable felt is, people. It's, like, amazing. I, I don't have any other, like, wet felted things around here but other than the shoes. But um, felt is so phenomenal. I can't even communicate to you how, comfort, how comfortable felt actually is. So, consequently, this is why I make athletic shoes now is because... Sometimes I don't want to wear a super low profile shoe, and sometimes I don't want to wear a boot. Sometimes I, you know, fashion dictates that I wear either an athletic shoe, you know, I just needed this shoe because I needed to be able to walk around in puddles and dirt and look at how dirty it is out. And I have like a, you know, a lot of uh, a gravel alleyway behind me. I walk a lot around town and um, I need this. So, I needed to put a big uh, sole on it. So, let me get to my secret. You're like, get to the secret, lady. What's the secret? Okay. Okay, hold on. So, this stitching was not done in the original shoe. 
just this stitching on the heel, this stitching here for decorative purposes, I thought, and this up here also for decorative purposes. What I discovered is that everywhere you put stitching, you tighten the shoe around your foot, and that prevents slippage. Well, since I'm used to walking around in shoes like these that are very, um, what, do I have another shoe in here? Ah, oh, I must have taken it in. It's my other felted slipper with a, with a low profile sole, like my Vibram soles that I do have. I just haven't put in my shop, so if you need some, let me know. Give me a shout out. Um, it's just plastic rubber soling that's thin. It is now spoiled. <laughs> Because I'm used to shoes that completely conform to my foot. So my shoe for years now, literally, uh, I'm going on three years, has been only in shoes that are formed to my feet so they never pinch me um, or curve me or anything. They're uh, this completely comfortable. So <laughs> when I put these decorative stitches in, I began to shape the shoe. You see how much more narrow this shoe is compared to this shoe? This shoe is exactly how my foot likes to sort of relax. It's like imagine you've gone and you're having Thanksgiving if you're in the US. I don't, if you're not in the US, you don't understand Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is this ginormous feast we have in the United States uh, once a year to be thankful. <laughs> for all of our blessings, and we typically overdo it, hence the American figure. <laughs> but anyways, um, what we do is we eat, we eat, we eat, we eat, and a lot of times we'll like undo the top button of our jeans or whatever, we'll just, oh, we'll just relax and it'll all fall out. So that's how my foot is in these shoes. It's totally relaxed, it's rolling around, it's super comfortable, <laughs> and there's like nothing that squeezes me. So with this shoe is to be an athletic shoe. And I kind of was thinking in the lines of like, you know, like a Nike shoe or something. They always have these things. And I thought, well, that must serve a purpose. So I'm going to put that in my shoe. It does serve a purpose. It tightens around here and makes it more secure. But then I was like, ow, ah, my foot, it's being squeezed. So I actually had to wear it for two days all day in order to get the wool to go, you know, the, the felt will conform to your foot regardless. So I had to get it to conform to the actual shape of my foot where it goes, my toes go, and then, and then the ball of my foot kind of comes out fat right there. So this one, I didn't put in all of that stitching. This one is actually a little bit fatter than this one. Now, point, point, be, be paying attention here. Are you ready? I'm getting older, okay? I'm pushing towards 50. I'm closer to 50 than 45 now. That's crazy. So the thing is, as you get older and you have maybe some medical issues, uh, I don't even know about that. If you have medical issues, definitely, but you don't necessarily gonna have medical issues if you're older. But anyways, sometimes, oh, like if you're pregnant, your feet will swell. Okay, so the awesome thing about felt is that it will move with your foot. It will allow your foot, the heat of your foot, and the moisture of your foot uh, to sweat. Now, that's, here's the other cool thing. Wool wicks away moisture, so your feet never get sweaty inside a wool shoe. And... They don't get stinky because wool is antimicrobial. What? Yes. Look, where did I put that little shoe? Okay, you see this little beat up little slipper? The slipper is years old. And I wore it every single day with no socks. And, um, and I just kept, <laughs> as I'd get holes, I would just like refelt some more inner lining and put it in there. But I uh, wore it with no socks. And it did not get stinky, um, unless it got wet. Every once in a while I wore it in the rain and it got wet and then I got a little stinky, but then I would just dry it out and it would be fine again. Um, so anyways, wool, uh, will shape with your foot. The heat of your feet will help shrink the wool around your foot. It will mold to your feet 
and it is completely, totally awesome, which is why you all need to be making your own wool shoes or purchasing shoes. Now, do I sell shoes? No, because I'm still, I'm still perfecting my shoe making. I would really, before I like uh, wanted to sell shoes uh, to the masses, which FYI, you can't really sell shoes to the masses because they take a while to make. Um, and ideally, you would have the person there. But um, I really want to really dive deep into making shoes and understanding all the nuances of what you do to different shoes and how that affects the fit. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys wanted to know. Okay, so here's what I learned. What I learned is you definitely want to provide extra stitching. Remember how I showed you, if you did not see this, look back in, in the playlist for the athletic shoe. Um, I will put a click somewhere, I'll put a card up, if you'll see the little I, click on that, it'll take you to the video that teaches you how to do this stitching, okay? This stitching doesn't go all the way through the shoe, you'll notice, it's just on the outside, it's in part of the felt, so I'll teach you how to do that. But you need to have that up here so that your foot doesn't slip around. Now this Vibram sole is an awesome sole. It does have some bend to it. It also has a natural roll to the toe. It's meant for walking. But um, I was what was happening is I was walking and my my heel was just like slipping out a little bit. It was fine, but over time it put too much work on my uh, Achilles heel and my calf. So my the muscles around my ankle got sore after walking around all day, but only in one shoe. It was only in the shoe that didn't have this stitching up here. So this stitching up here kept my foot from lifting up and, and slipping, and that back and forth slipping and recapturing the, in my toe is, if this, these are my toes, that, that motion is what was tiring out my ankle. So if you can do this stitching, that will stop. Also, I, in the second shoe, I did not put this up here uh, on the outside of right where the curve comes after the ball of my foot because I didn't want to be pinched. Instead, to provide less slipping, I did some stitching right here. Now that's just my foot. So you'll kind of have to know your foot or your customer's foot um, to, to know where you should put your stitching. Uh, and as I experiment and make more athletic shoes for different people, like my family and my friends, I will let you know how it works out. I have a couple people coming uh, next week, two more people, and they will come into the shop and we will be making some custom shoes for their feet and we will be experimenting with the stitching and they're local so we can really get some information about how it, how it wears for them, okay? So I hope that helps. Happy shoemaking. Really, if you haven't made wet felted shoes, you need to get <laughs> you need to get on the playlist from the beginning and start making your shoes. You're going to fall in love with them totally. Again, if you liked, thumbs up, hit subscribe, please share it amongst your friends, your family, your relatives, even your enemies deserve good shoes. So, <laughs> share it. And uh, have a, a fabulous day. Talk to you later.